Hi, my name is Miss Runk and I teach AP Biology. Uh, the topics covered include cells, biochemistry, ecology, genetics, um, molecular genetics, bacteria, evolution, um, photosynthesis, cellular respiration, bacteria, all that fun stuff. Well, we do a large variety of different types of activities and lab work. Um, some labs are short and quick. Some labs are very extensive and have a pretty big inquiry a component. Some labs I tell you what to do. Some labs you design yourself. Um, but there is a lot of interactive group work, interactive lab work. Uh, so I do try to get you up and moving and doing science quite often. Um, you will have to write a few high quality lab reports. Um, then in addition, uh, not all your labs will be have to be written up in formal lab report form. Some labs are just um, more of a lab worksheet that requires higher level answers but not necessarily typed up papers. Um, part of the AP curriculum are free response questions or FRQs and those are basically essay questions and so I do a lot to prep you for those essay style questions and so you will have to write I don't want to say a lot of big papers but more short essays or long paragraphs that describe ideas or propose experiment um, design that sort of thing. As far as reading goes, uh, the textbook, and then also I do infuse the class with a lot of different case studies, especially medical case studies. So you will be reading about different experiments or different medical procedures or different medical um, cases that correlate to what we're learning about in, in the class. Homework. Well, in my opinion, I don't think I give that much homework. Um, I definitely expect students to, on a daily basis, go over notes and um, book readings on their own, um, reread material that didn't make sense to them, reread any lecture notes um, that didn't make sense to them on, the, on a daily basis. Um, some weeks, yes, there's a lot more homework because you might have a lab report due, but then some weeks are a little bit lighter because you might have to study, but then you don't really have much to turn in for me. Um, for every unit, I do have a pretty hefty uh, homework packet that is due at the end of the unit, but you have the whole unit to work on it. So if you do a little bit at a time, it's not really that bad, but if you wait until the night before it's due, then yes, that's a lot of homework in one night. Um, I think that if you're considering any sort of medical profession in your future, this is a great way to prep you for it and to prep you for some of the science classes that you will have to take in college. Uh, it's also just kind of a fun way to see if you truly are interested in bio or maybe what topic in bio interests you the most. Are you interested in medicine? Or are you interested in genetics? Or maybe you want to go the ecology and environmental science route. So it's a good way to sort of see a lot of different topics in science and to start to generate some true interests in the topic.